Get right to your weather impact forecast. Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries joining us now. Ginger, you did mention those solar flares. I know. So what can we expect? All right, you remember this back in May, right? The skies lit up. This is one of my favorite uh, photos sent in by one of our 12 News weather watchers. Well, guess what? We have another opportunity to see views like this. I know we're on the outer brink of where the view line is, but right now solar flares are once again happening. So what happens with these solar flares, basically the sun is emitting extra particulate matter into the atmosphere, and as a result, the northern lights can see be seen to a greater distance. For NASA's concern, they have put out this image showing where the view line is. You can see it right there in red. And I know that doesn't include Arizona, but last time in May when they saw the most sizable flares in 20 years, it also didn't include us. So I'm just saying there's a chance that uh, in the next 24 hours, we could once again see some of those northern lights, primarily in the higher elevations here in Arizona. The only thing that's going to hamper that is the cloud cover. And once again, we're seeing some of that hazy skies, those thin clouds just kind of lurking off in the distance. But what's happening is this high pressure builds in. It's pushing that moisture down to the surface. As a result, once again, we are on the hazy side and the radar is picking up a little bit of this energy.